When it comes to supporting wire fences, T-posts are an excellent choice because of their relatively low cost, durability, and ease of installation. But before you start driving the T-post, there are a few things that you need to know. Using a string or wire stretched between your end post as a guide, place your T-post 8 to 12 feet apart. 5 to 6 wire barbed fence will do just fine with spacing from 10 to 12 feet. Position your T-post with the anchor plate at the bottom and perpendicular to the fence line. Be sure to orient the post with the wire locating studs all facing the same direction. The bump-like T-post studs serve a very important purpose. Once the wire is clipped to the fence, the studs prevent the wire from sliding up and down the post. It's best to orient the post with the studs facing toward the side that will receive the most pressure from the animals you are hoping to contain. In layman terms, that basically means if you're trying to keep the animals in, put the studs on the inside. If you're trying to keep the animals out, place them on the outside. Once you've got your post positioned, you're ready to start driving. Most people use a manual post driver like this one. As you begin to drive the post down, make sure the post doesn't twist or turn as it enters the ground. Once the anchor plate is in, you shouldn't have to worry about this. Drive the post down about 18 to 24 inches, completely burying the anchor to make sure livestock can't easily pull the post out by lifting on the wires. As you set your post, take time occasionally to look down your row and make sure you've got a nice straight line. Keep on pounding those posts and before you know it, you'll have a fence that looks great and will last for years to come.